Yeah, I'm Karen Larson. And I'm Mike Brooks. Thanks for joining us tonight. Soon, thousands of Green Country veterans won't have to travel a long way for health care. Tunis Oklahoma reporter Jeanette Quesada was at the groundbreaking for the new VA hospital in downtown Tulsa and learned how it's going to benefit OSU students. Jeanette? Well, that groundbreaking ceremony took place here at the expanded OSU Medical Center, and this is where the hospital will be coming. This is how Tulsa marked its VA hospital groundbreaking ceremony. The $130 million project is a collaborative effort involving federal, state and city leaders, all to benefit veterans in green country. Thank you for your service. For veterans health, this is a, this is a great day. We're going to be able to put a new hospital downtown, pair it with an academic medical center. Just, just an amazing opportunity for veterans health. Right now, many veterans travel to the Jack C. Montgomery Medical Center for medical services in Muskogee. The new VA hospital makes those services more accessible for men and women who have served our country. You look at a metropolitan area as large as Tulsa is in this entire region, now there's not a hospital immediately here in Tulsa. There's one in Muskogee, which is a great facility there long term, uh, but obviously needs additional attention. The existing Kerr Edmondson building is being remodeled into a 58 surgical bed hospital with capacity to treat more than 100,000 veterans. The project also includes a mental health hospital a new parking garage and sites where biotech companies can conduct research. So this provides an opportunity for a veterans hospital and OSU Medical to be right together to share resources to make sure our veterans are getting the absolute best care and getting the latest equipment. The collaborative project is creating 50 new residency spots at the VA hospital and 50 at the mental health services hospital for OSU medical students. So 100 new medical residencies, but that training that's going to be available for our residents, but also our medical students <clears throat> with veteran populations in the mental health, just a, a great opportunity for, for training <clears throat> for veterans health. This is a this is a great day. We're going to be able to put a new hospital downtown pair it with an academic medical center. Just just an amazing opportunity for veterans health. I'm told that VA hospital is expected to be completed in late 2024. Live in downtown Tulsa, Janet Quesada, Tunis, Oklahoma.